Before I give you guys any spoilers, before I get ahead of myself, if you haven't watched episode one, go check it out. I do a full rules breakdown. If you want the rules breakdown, check that out or it's in the description box down below. But you're going to get a spoiler on episode one and three, two, one. We are coming off of a tough loss, unfortunately, but we hit the ball very well. So we got a ton of points to use on our squad. We had a good amount of packs to rip and we got Spencer Jones out of a spring breakout pack off the marketplace. That's 90-90 power getting added to our lineup. Just a quick recap. In every episode, we play one ranked seasons game. After the ranked seasons game, we're going to open up packs. The amount of packs, the type of packs that we open are based on how we perform in the game. The better we play, the more points we get. We use the points on the marketplace, upgrade the team. And right now on the marketplace, there is a free Hasong Kim 87 overall. I'm going to grab this pack. We'll put it in our inventory. That's one of those packs where if we want to just use the 50-point trade-in and grab that Hassan Kim, we can do that. That's going to be a tough pitch, though, when we have these packs sitting here in our inventory. We have goons ready to be added, but we've got to get a win. In today's Ranked Seasons video, we're running a lineup of Colton Wong, Josh Young, Spencer Jones, Brian Reynolds, Vinny Pasquantino, Gary Sanchez, Corey Dickerson, Alex Bregman, and Cedric Mullins. Pitching force is going to be our two, the live series, Jesus Lazardo. He's only got 64 hits per nine, but he does have a good solid five-pitch mix and 99 control of his four-seam fastball. Bullpen is begging for help, but it is better than last episode, at least. We have a couple guys that are serviceable. We got Sir Anthony Dominguez, Aroldis Chapman, Taylor Rogers, James Karinchek. These are serviceable guys, at least it's better than what we had in episode one for sure. Now there's nothing left to do except try and force a rage quit, but first, if you're looking to get some tickets for opening day, opening week, or opening month of the Major League Baseball season, go to SeatGeek, use code SHELFIE. They're going to take a flat 20 bucks off your first purchase. Let's find out what our challenge is for today's video. Remember, we have 50 bonus points at the end of the game if we complete our in-game challenge. Some of them make it difficult. Some are just extremely difficult to do. Some are relatively easy, though. There are some easier lands on here. In today's episode, though, we have to have a four-hit game. So we need a four-hit game with somebody to get it today. Here we go. We're going to be the home squad today. He's a New York Jets fan, 1226, with Marcus Stroman's live series on the mound. Dot. There we go. There's our first point. I also just realized that the camera was not up for that at bat. So we are back. We are officially back. Yay. Way down there. That was a terrible, terrible pinpoint. Ends up in the strike zone, but another strikeout. Two points on the inning for Jesus Lazardo. Brings up Spencer Jones. He's batting 400 with Spencer Jones. That's not going to help. Three up, three down for Jesus Lazardo. Two strikeouts, two points. Let's hit. Colton Wong starts the game with a perfect, perfect. A little bit lag off the bat there. Something to note. Slider off the plate. Runner in scoring position. There's a point on a freebie. Two points on the mound. Two points at the plate. Two on. Oh, it didn't come down enough. Missed it again. Just a hair underneath of that slurve there. It's so slow. Vinny Pasquantino now. Be the guy. 1-0. Likes that sinker down and away to start the left. Vinny. Hit it pretty good, 93 off the bat, but it stays in the ballpark. Outfielders are glitching on me out there. Wow, we strand two, we get two on, nobody out. Just missed the barrel three times. Nice slider, he pulls it foul. JD Dart Davis is one of my favorite cards in Battle Royale right now. Oh, it didn't come all the way back, stop it. Ooh, fly ball to center. I pulled the stick a bit late right there and I had a bad input, we got lucky. Good sink, fouls it back. Can you put that in play for me, though? Oh, no, I went the wrong way on the changeup. Oh, no! Round the horn, though. That's going to be routine. Five, four, three, jump toss of the bag. Beautiful. Get on the board now. We got to make up for that lackluster. We fumbled last inning. Like a young Tiki Barber out there. Corey Dickerson! Muscle up! A hundred off the bat into the parking garage. Gives us an early lead, 392, no bonuses. But a, a candidate for our four hit game though. Bregman goes perfect, perfect the other way. Back to back, goodbye. Beautiful. Alex Bregman, 384, another ball barreled up out towards the parking garage. It's a two nothing game. Cedric Mullins now laces one out to left. That was hit well, but right at him. He's just hanging out over there, Spencer Jones. Get a light. 
Colton Wong rolls it over. I don't know why when I pressed the button, I thought it was going right back up the middle. Fly ball to center. One pitch, one out to start the third after we score two. Three up, three down right after you score is as big as it gets in this video game. That ball's hit hard. Dickerson. Ah, oh, he got it on a one hop, though. That is so unlikely. But he holds him at one. Corey Dickerson is an athlete. Now I just need a rollover for two. Fly ball to center. We'll get to that one routine. It's not the double play. No, I got R2'd right there. Thankfully, it missed the strike zone. 1-1 one, one on Nimmo. I haven't thrown very many fastballs. Let's get up out, up above his hands. Beautiful. Again, actually. He was way out in front on that. Just stay out of the zone. Yep. Wow, another point for Lizardo. Josh Young. Lines out to center. Another really good swing here, though, early in this game. Brings up Spencer Jones. That one ran away from me. That sinker just kept on running away. Almost beat it out there. Nice play at shortstop. Two quick outs here, bottom three. Single side shy of the cycle, and there it is. Brian Reynolds has hit for the cycle and six at bats for us. That sinker down and away to the lefty every time. Now hang the slurve. Hang the slurve! Vinny Pasquantino! He keeps repeating his mixes. Make him pay for it. Vinny goes yard. Now that's Italian. Gary Sanchez. I feel like I'm, I'm just playing with New York right now. New York, two more points on the double for Gary. Corey Dickerson now is going to pull one right side. That'll do it for the inning. Dickerson can't keep it rolling. We add two more. We strand one. We're up to six hits. We got a lot of points. We got a lot of points. Ground ball. Bregman, you got a strong throw on that. 90 speed. Beats it out. Infield single to lead off the inning for Jet Williams. First pitch change up. I went the wrong way again. And he took off for a second. He's going to be in there easily. First pitch, change up, takes off right away. He's up in scoring position. It's a four-run game, though. Soft line drive to first. I actually thought we caught that in the air, and we almost messed up. He could have gone to third right there. J.D. Davis going to step up. Runner did not advance. That's kind of big. Now he can do something to move him up but not score. Love a strikeout here, though, on J.D. Davis. Fly out to left. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the difference between a sack fly and a runner just being in scoring position. Good pitch, 0-1. Manzardo's down early. Cut her down, just bury it, bury it. Beautiful, Colt Wong, as sure-handed as they come, makes the play. He strands that runner in scoring position. That's gotta be demoralizing, buddy. Pull the plug, don't be shy. We would love them early shower. Briggs! This is a lot of perfect perfects. It's perfect, perfects everywhere. Cranked. Cranked. But it's gone. Oh, my goodness. What a play, Brandon Nimmo. Can you relax? Are you kidding me? Run that replay. That's unreal. I honestly didn't think he was getting there. What a play. Slurve again, 3-1. I'm going to take all the way here with Spencer Jones on deck. Cutter strike. 3-2, runner on first with the off. He did not take off. Threw a good slurve anyway. That was ball four. Should have let it go. Bad inning. Bad. It's just all bad. It's just all bad. Let's go back foot slider. Down, 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 down. That's not down enough. There we go. We went the right direction that time at least. Not a bad pitch, and we get a point from it. Ground ball. Jesus Lazardo pick it up and throw the ball. Beautiful. Hey, he froze for a second. I got nervous. Sinker. One of the better sinkers that we've thrown. He did lay off, though. About the backdoor cutter again. Can we get black this time? Cannot. 3-1. Bryson Stott on deck. Slider now. Hittable. Hit hard. Bregman makes a sliding play. Bang! That's a five-point bonus for sure. What a play. Former LSU shortstop on the six for us. Getting it done. Ripped. Out to left, Spencer Jones is going to lead off the fifth with a knock now. Let's roll, baby. Ryan Reynolds hits one hard to second base, and that is unfortunately going to be a 100-mile-per-hour exit velocity double play ball. Just suddenly, the, the <laughs> that was a hanger, too. Just missed it. Here's Vinny. 
Ball one, just when you thought we were going to have us another inning. Get a multi-homer game from Vinny. For the bonus, we will not, but it is his second hit of the ball game out to right. Splitter in. Looking for the sinker. He has not thrown very many sinkers. I don't think he, think he threw one that whole inning. Through five with a four-run lead, we've had more opportunities. We have nine hits in this game. I think there might be a couple people with two hits. The four-hit game is not dead. Fly ball left center. One pitch, one out on Bryson's side. Jesus Lazardo is just buzzsawing at the moment. We have one out here, top six, and he's at 50 pitches. Entered this sixth inning at 49. Here's Brandon Nimmo, and he's going to get one to bleed out to center. Got him to chase. Two pitches in a row to lead off the inning. He's got one on with one out now. A ground ball would be nice. Not my best pitch, but he does swing at it. Vinny's going to get a two ball. Three, six, one, double play. Jesus Lazardo, PFPs. Ejecto Cito, cuz. Dang, just like that, we got him frustrated. Another double play in a four run game there in the sixth inning, and he calls it quits, packs it in. We get a rage quit W. That is 20 points right off the rip. We unlocked Robin Roberts and a bunch of packs post game. We had four strikeouts with Hazel. Zeus Lazardo, we had 19 total bases on nine hits, three homers, and a double. We also had a walk in this ball game. We had a spectacular play by Alex Bregman at shortstop. 10 points for the win, 10 points for the rage quit. Gives us a total of 53 points on the episode. Jesus Lazardo just went out there and absolutely frustrated that guy. In terms of market value, 50 points is about 34 packs. Just going to open up 35 standards, one headliner solo pack, and that'll be our 53 points for the episode. There will be 17 standard packs remaining at the end of this pack opening as we go through. My primary focus early in the year, as always, is the standard packs because I'm trying to get these live series collections completed. It's like the most important thing. Because once you start knocking out collections, especially this year that the power creep is back in the game, some of those collection rewards are usable. You want to knock them out. Get these players on your squad. Okay, we got a chase pack here. Chase pack one that we can open up. Let's just, matter of fact, let's just open it right now so we don't confuse ourselves. We still have 21. 21 packs to open and hit a chase. We get a gold. We can get golds. I said that in the last episode. I wasn't sure if you could get golds out of chase packs. You can. There's Brian Abreu, which I guess he's an upgrade to our bullpen. Boo. Let's open that one headliner that we're going to rip now also. Nothing. Silver, Wilmer, Flores. Now we got 21 standard packs, and then that's going to do it for today. Can we get a banger? A bomb dropper right here right now all right we have 10 more packs this is not a good look it's not a good look we're just loading up the bronze and silver it's not a gold or diamond in sight it seems one diamond will completely shift the sh shift the mood though you get one diamond suddenly you get three or four in a two episode stretch just need to get the first one get the ball rolling my boy jeff ha uh, hoffman is up to a gold had a great year last year he's having a great spring underrated difference maker for the phillies last pack Nothing. Horrendous day on the packs. Now, in a couple of episodes, once I feel like I've opened up a decent amount of packs, I'll go through each collection, see where we're at. Right now, like you can see, we're only about a quarter of the way through probably most of these teams. We'll be between 8 and 20. We'll be lucky to be halfway through any of these, to be honest. Just two episodes, but eventually we will do a collections update. I'll go through, try and get as many of these as 100% as possible or see what players that we need so that we can come up with some sort of checklist. And then as we're opening packs, we'll know who we're targeting. We can get excited when we pull those guys. So we'll get into that very soon. It's got to give it like seven or eight episodes give or take so we can rip some standards i need another diamond in the lineup though so we can go yard so despite the win unfortunately no upgrades to the squad or lineup in today's episode just horrendous pack luck not even a live series diamond in almost 50 packs if you guys enjoyed hammer that thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to go use that CG code shelfie 20 bucks off your first purchase i'll see you guys in the next one peace